Hey guys, I'm gonna be opening the Doki Doki box by Japan Crate, and this is my first time opening any box by them, so I'm pretty excited. I did the Kawaii box a while ago, and I think the Doki Doki box is a very similar idea. It's a monthly subscription service that costs $30 a month, and they give you random Kawaii stuff, plushies, stickers, stationery. Um, I'm not exactly sure, so I'm just gonna open it and we're gonna see what's in it. The one thing that's different about the Doki Doki box is that it's free shipping within the United States, but if you are an international customer, it can cost between 10 to $15 for shipping, so that makes it kind of expensive. But let's open it up and see if it's worth it. First of all, I like the pink box. I think that's really cute. Oh, that's nice. Look, there's a little pamphlet inside. So the pamphlet tells you a little bit about each item that's in the box and it's also got some original artwork and some contests that you guys can enter. So that's neat. I like that. Okay, item number one is a Koroham Koron pouch. Um, it's a handy little pouch to tote around your personal items. So that would be this one. Actually, you know what? This is going to be perfect size for my camera and I'm really excited for that because I needed a camera case. And why not get something cute? Oh, it's really soft. <laughs> That's so adorable. It's got a little drawstring at the top there. Take out the padding. Oh, I didn't even notice the little hamster tail. That's too cute. I really like that. That's gonna be perfect for my camera. All right, the next is a flashing bird. Place yours in the palm of your hand or in a bowl of water to have them flash the night away. Oh, it looks like it has a little sensor on the bottom of it. You just push it down a little bit so that it gets the heat of your hand, I guess, and it starts changing colors. That's really cute. I feel like Marl's gonna like this. All right, next is a plushie, and it looks like each different box got a different plushie. So you can either get an alpacaso, um, koroham, which is the hamster, namakemono, which is a sloth, or kotsume otter, or hua koro-chan, and I have no idea what that is. But it looks like I got the sloth, and I'm kind of happy, because <laughs> it's really cute. This is so adorable. I'm pretty sure I don't have a sloth plushie, so that's an interesting addition to my plushie collection. And I was really excited when I saw this. Nikotsume! There's a Nikotsume clip or charm in here. Which one did I get? I got the rubber clip. Oh, this is cool. It's a rubber clip that I can use to like keep potato chips closed or something. Yee, that's so awesome. Next is a keychain. Hopechan. Hopechan keychain. That would be this one. Oh, that's really cute. Super tiny little drop. I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to be. Hope means cheeks. So that's why it has cute little pink cheeks, but it's a cell phone strap. And there's also a Hope chan postcard set. It looks like there's a set of about five postcards in there. And the last item is a big one. It's a little remint pack where you can make your own jewelry. And they also give you a refill set, so you can make lots of them. I wonder what color this one comes with. Ooh, pretty! It looks like it comes with three different... Is that a candy? It comes with candy. <laughs> it looks like it comes with three different colors, and then they give you a blue set. So lots of really pretty pastel colors to make stuff with. And here is the loom. They also give you these little charms to pop out and use on your bracelets. That's fun. I really like do-it-yourself stuff, so I'm glad that it comes with a do-it-yourself kit. And that is everything. So as for if this is worth $30 or not, let's see. Everything felt really high quality. I was really happy with the quality of stuff. I would say it's probably worth maybe $20 in total and then considering the time that they take to choose things, pack them up and ship them to you, I would say $30 is a pretty good price, maybe a little on the high side compared to other boxes, but I'm very happy with the stuff that was inside of it. I think it's all really cute and very good quality, which is nice. I would rather have 
a few good quality items than lots of low quality items so i'm happy with that i'll put the link down below for a doki doki box if you guys would like to check it out yourself and they also sent me a japan crate which is their snack box version i'll be opening that in another video so look out for that one and thanks for watching guys bye